In this video, we'll discover the power of forgiveness and how it can benefit you. When you're angry, it's hard to understand that forgiveness works two ways. It lets someone get away with actions that are acceptable, and that's the side most people see. But there's much more to it than that. It lets you get away without all the bitterness. Let's look at the ways in which forgiveness helps you. After all, this is a fundamental benefit that you deprive yourself of if you cannot forgive. There is a difference between forgiving someone and condoning their actions. There are a lot of kids today who had experienced child abuse at some point in their lives. So what happens to the upbringing of the child? There are only three possible outcomes. One is that they'll be totally broken down, afraid of their parents, and have low self-esteem. The second possible outcome is that they'll hate their parents deep to the core, going against every word they say and becoming a rebel child. In the future, they might even follow their parents' footsteps, thinking that this is how it should be. I was brought up this way anyway. The third possible outcome is they simply forgive and learn from their experience. As a result, they could avoid the same mistake and shape their character into a more compassionate human being. It sure takes a lot of courage, but what you gain is so much more than what is lost. If you don't learn to forgive, you begin to be the perpetrator, and the lack of forgiveness is every bit as wrong as holding on to the memory and allowing it to cloud your judgment in the future. Studies that were done on forgiveness show that there are benefits as well. Forgiveness is good for your heart health. It helps you to lower high blood pressure because you're able to let go of the cause of that biochemical change in your body that anger and stress cause. There are so many stress-related ailments these days and much of it is down to the way you look at life. Compassionate people retain their innocence and can welcome the world with open arms, whereas those who cannot forgive will always put barriers between themselves and the world around them. All religions and philosophies agree with the fact that forgiveness is valuable to your soul or to the very way that you look at life, and letting go allows you to reform relationships and make a real connection with the world. Forgiveness opens up the path to empathy. If you can't see the world through someone else's eyes, you limit your own viewpoint of life. Empathy makes you a more complete person and helps you to peacefully coexist with others whose opinions differ from your own. Since the whole world's way of living is based upon what people think, forgiveness frees you from the hold of anger and indignation. Thus, you see the world in a much broader perspective and are able to understand differences of opinion. Forgiveness is extremely powerful. It enables you. It frees you from all of the negative feelings that you may go through as a result of being closed-minded. I remember someone that I knew taking up a new religion and being very devout. The one area she had difficulty with was forgiveness. In her life, she had experienced bad things in her past that she could never let go of. When the friend who had betrayed her died, she found out too late that she could have forgiven and cherished a very valuable relationship. One small conversation stopped the relationship, and in retrospect, she saw how petty and small that conversation was, and yet it had eaten up years of what could have been a very productive and loving relationship. Standing at the grave of her old friend, she realized it was just too late, and now she has to live with all the regrets, until she could forgive herself for what she had done. The problem is that if you can't let go the repercussion can actually be more serious than the actual event. We all make mistakes, but they're only mistakes when they get in the way of relationships to the extent that you can never go back. It took her a long time to realize that forgiving herself was just as valuable as forgiving the friend who had wronged her. 
The U.S. National Library of Medicine has a wonderful piece that may be worth reading if you doubt the benefits of forgiveness. Their work involved a study of over 100 students and measuring the efficiency of their blood pressure and heart rate based on their ability to forgive. For those who are prepared to work on their character traits, there is an action that you can take to show you immediately what forgiveness does. The next time someone hurts you, don't wait for them to apologize. Break the ice and call them to get the relationship back onto a good footing. It really doesn't matter who apologizes first as long as there's forgiveness. The fact is, the person who cannot apologize is always going to be in a weaker position. If you take the initiative to make up with that friend, you show your strength of character, and that can help that friend of yours to understand that there are other ways to move forward in life. For more free educational content, visit learnforfree.biz. Content produced and distributed by AllSuperInfo.